Hi Crafty fans! I'm here today to talk to you about my new project that I'm going to start um, that I could use your help on. And as you can probably tell, it is all about Supernatural. Um, I was been a Supernatural fan from the beginning, and I will admit that I waned a little in the last few seasons, but this season I'm back full force, and I wanted to work on a printer's tray, which is kind of like the Sleepy Hollow configurations box I made with a few differences. So I'm going to bring you down a little bit here. I feel like there's a song in that somewhere. Don't bring me down. Um, so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. We've also got this crazy frog in our backyard, uh, which is really unusual for where we live. So um, he's been out there making so much noise. It's bizarre. So anyway, this is a printer's tray. And um, I'll show you the top end of it. It's got a handle. And you hang it up. And unlike the um, configurations tray, this one is not very deep. Let's see if I can show you with this pen that, um, does that make sense at all? It's really not very deep at all. It's maybe, I think, like a half an inch deep. So um, unlike the other one, which was really deep. And that was a bad thing to do because now all my little labels went away. So my idea was to take um, all 22 episodes of the first season and do a panel for each one. Uh, I'm going to combine the last two episodes because they're sort of combined anyway. And then I'm going to use the center for more of a general piece. And this is a Supernatural Bubblegum card I'm going to use in the center there because um, it's a nice picture. And although I'm pretty much in order of the episodes, I may change some of these around because uh, I might need some of the spaces, as you can see, are very, very narrow. So they're not the best um, to put things in. As you can see, that one's extremely narrow. So um, I'm going to probably end up changing these around based on what I have to go in each box. Now, I found a few items, which is the reason I decided to start doing this. So let me move this out of the way. And let me just bring over a little paper here so you can see what I'm looking at. So I went to Hobby Lobby today and found a couple things. Um, the first thing I found are these little W charms and they're kind of cool because they look they look like sealing wax but they're metal charms and they're kind of purple turquoisey and kind of a raspberry color and as you can see they were on sale for only 52 cents which is amazing this is the way I like to craft because I like my deals and I thought the W for Winchester I'll be able to hang those all over the box but the thing that really got me to buy was this set of charms, which is from the header on it, which is the spare parts collection from the paper studio, um, again from Hobby Lobby. These are really nice metal charms, and when I looked, this right here is the one that sold me. Let me see if I can bring it closer to the camera. It is a cassette tape. And, uh, of course, if you watch the show, you know that cassettes are Dean's favorite. And so that is going to go in the pilot section. Um, you know, driver picks the music, shotgun shuts, shuts his cake hole. Um, it also came, I wouldn't have bought it just for that. Well, I might have. But it also came with a plane, which I can use for Phantom Traveler. And I didn't even notice until I got deeper into until I bought it. It came with this fabulous bike, which will be perfect for dead in the water. Uh, I'm going to want to paint that red, and I know there's ways to do that and get my husband to help. Um, and then there's a bunch of other really interesting pieces that I think I can use, maybe not for this season. Um, I think I might use this compass for Wendigo because that's kind of the first place that they reference John leaving coordinates and using a compass, using some kind of locator to find where they are. Um, so I might use that. Um, there's some weird little just gears, which I might just use for decoration. And if I go further into another season, there's this bow and arrow, which I thought would be really great for the episode about Cupid and maybe some other episodes, because I think the boys actually use a bow and arrow or something in another episode. Can't quite remember that. There's also these two nautical pieces. 
I really like the ship's wheel, not as crazy about the anchor. And I thought for, oh my gosh, I'm a bad fangirl. I can't remember the name of the episode off the top of my head. But the one about the, uh, the ghost sh ship. Um, is that one of the early Bella episodes? Um, gosh, why can't I remember the name of the episode? Um, I'll look it up later, or you can just type it in the comments below if it's driving you crazy, too. Uh, but it's the episode uh, where people are drowning on dry land. Uh, the only thing I have no idea what I'm going to do with is this little purse. Um, I can't really think of an episode that a purse absolutely signifies it, but maybe. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one, or that'll just be the one. If if I if that's the only charm I don't use, that is pretty amazing. So um, while I was there, I also picked up uh, black soot distress ink. All of the Tim Holtz line was on sale at Hobby Lobby today for thirty percent off, and um, that's also where I bought the printer's tray. Uh, that is not a Tim Holtz this time. I can't remember the maker on that one, but looking to see it's just called a memory tray and they have a lot of different sizes at Hobby Lobby so I got black soot distress ink I have tea stain and some other brown ones I've seen a lot of people using the actual black I thought it was kind of silly to buy it first because I have a black ink but this is kind of different um, distress inks are a little more translucent and they're really great for edging and I was thinking if I'm doing supernatural you know black smoke and all that um, I'm probably going to use that and what else did I get Oh, I've also been wanting to get one of these. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz Distressor, which um, there's little teeth in each of these holes. I'm not sure what each hole is about, if there's different teeth or what. Uh, but you basically run this across the edges of your paper, and it tears it up and gives it a really nice distressed look. Then you can hit it with your ink. And that was 30% off, $4.99 originally, 20%, 30% off at... Hobby Lobby this weekend and um, that's all I got uh, I will say I saw and I don't think I have a picture over here Hobby Lobby has these really nice giveaways creative inspiration giveaways this one is called the steampunk story and it's a really nice folder you know what? let me bring you back up again a little bit so you can see this a little better um, it's a really nice project sheet with just some great ideas on how to use some steampunk pieces. And then I also picked up this one, which is, oh, which is about how to alter um, metal pieces. So maybe I can use that. And also this inspiration sheet called Color and Ice. But what I saw, that I did take a picture of with my camera, which I might... Um, try to upload later was a line called fairy tales and it's a line of chunky charms so kind of like these but like each charm is huge and it's all these really great fairy tale things there's Alice in Wonderland there's a, a mad hatter hat a big metal hat that says something like we're all mad around here I totally need that one there's just a banner that says once upon a time and uh, just I, I don't know what I would do with them but I wanted all of them so in the end, I spent 25 at Hobby Lobby today, most of which is going to go into the Supernatural box. Obviously, the most expensive items, the ink and the shredder, I will be able to keep using. Um, I have not been keeping track of how much I spend on my boxes because I think that would freak me out. So the question is, what am I going to put in all my little spaces? So I have a few ideas. Uh, the ones I showed you there, I'm thinking about, um, like, Hookman, i got to find myself a hook. Route 666, I was thinking I could put a, a truck, find a little toy truck. I was actually thinking about a little army man also to go in Dead of the Water box. Um, Dead Man's Blood, I've got those little vials that I bought for Sleepy Hollow, and I might use one of those. Um... Bloody Mary, which, when I do them in order, ends up in this skinny little space, and that's definitely not going to work. So, because uh, Bloody Mary, I absolutely need a mirror, which shouldn't be too hard to find at all at the craft store. Uh, Bugs is getting this tiny little space for sure. I'll probably just put a couple little bees 
in there. But I don't know what else. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I've got quite a bit of room uh, to fill out in each of these spaces. So leave me some comments and tell me what items you think of when you think of these first season episodes. Um, iconic items, and I'll worry about trying to find them. Um, like skin. What am I going to use for skin? Um, I don't want to put a pile of gooey stuff that looks like skin in the space. That would be kind of gross. Um, scarecrow will be easy. I'll get myself a little scarecrow for that. Anyway, so that's my request, is please help me figure out what kind of other charms and things I could buy. First season Supernatural, anything that goes with any specific episode, be wild, be crazy, and help me out and tell me in the comments. All right, and I will be back another day. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is put paper, paper back the printer's tray, and... That'll be the next thing um, I do. All right. Uh, actually, I have one more question for you because I'm not sure what to do about this. I don't know if you can really see it. This printer's tray, actually, I realized when I took it out of the package, has a little break in it that, now that I see, goes all the way down the side. I don't know if you're getting it on the camera. But I really don't want to return it, and I'm thinking I'm going to glue stuff all over it anyway. But... Am I dumb? Should I return it and get a fresh one before I start? I need to decide soon because I'm going to start building. So there you go. Supernatural printer's tray. I can't wait to get started.